Happy day everyone! In this video we're going to be showing you how to play Legend of Zelda the PC version that's been modified so that you can do this. Turn the camera however you want. You can do cinematic stuff. You can more easily move your character around. It's fantastic. Now how do you do this, you may be wondering. Because this looks great, I wish I could do this. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can do this. And I'm going to be showing you how very shortly. Now first of all, you may be wondering, what, that doesn't seem any fancy. What do you mean that's fancy? Well, you put on our little camera here, and we get our controller just right, and you see that when I move my right stick, even though it looks like I'm moving my left stick here, it is turning the camera. Now if I move my other stick forward, I can move this. I can even kill this creature. And that's not all. When we hop off, we can easily use our C buttons. Quite simply. And when we look forward, we can have free look. Without restraint. And now, we blink. We can move independently the camera to Link without a single worry whatsoever. And that's why this PC version of Ocarina of Time is great. Now you may be wondering, how do I play this PC version? Well, that's what we're going to do right here. So, this is the README guide for it, and it's basically a quick guide on how to do it. But you may be wondering, how do you even get to this part? Well, quite simply, you need to get to this Discord. Now, this Discord will be in the description below for you to do. And it has several different options. It's got the Windows version, the Linux version, a Linux straight version, a Mac OS, a Wii U version, and a Switch version. All of these work. So we click on the one that we want, which is the Windows. Once you click on it, it automatically downloads. And it's going to give you a file, not that one, much like this one right here. And then you just simply extract this file, which I've already done. And we have this lovely demo thing. And now you may be wondering, okay, that's great. Let's start playing the game. And you try to load it up and it's fine, Windows. It's perfectly fine. And it tells you main OTR file not found. Please generate one. Now what this is meaning is they want you to have a ROM saying that it proves that you own the game and you've made your own ROM for this thing. Now of course, I'm not saying that you guys don't own the game, but you may not own the files on your computer and you don't know how to make the ROM. And that's perfectly fine. So obviously, game doesn't work. What we need to do is follow the README. And it tells us that we need to download it from Discord and we get the supported copy of the game. Now, the supported copy of the game is the Ocarina of Time PAL GameCube version, not the Master Quest. The Master Quest one does kind of work and is supported, but they say there will be bugs and instability. So you get your version of this and you want to have something that's like this verified. And that is this sort of European debug GameCube version. Now the reason why you want the debug version is because it has some developer trickery with it. So we then head back to our folder, which we downloaded and we extracted. And we want to run OTR GUI. Now what this does, now it's perfectly fine Windows, don't you worry. It'll open up a little Linux sort of distro thing. Not really Linux, it's also on Windows. Let me get rid of the frame rate and it wants to open our ROM. So we press this and we then head to our ROM file. Now to get this ROM file, you're going to want to extract your file out and then enter the file properly. Then you click on your ROM like so and it starts exporting it through the system. And it's going to get some unexpected errors. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Once it's finished, it's done. You go done. And you click and exit the thing. Bam. We can start launching up the game. Here we go. 
Now, this version of the game has no enhancements, it's just your 4 by 3 normal aspect ratio as you would expect for the game. But, what's great about this, is we can just expand it. And it automatically does the aspect ratio. We can then bring it back down and just pull the sides out. And we can prove that it does ultra ultra wide. And we just keep pulling. And just keep pulling. And we go incredibly wide. You however, cannot go incredibly tall. So if we bring this back to approximately four by three, and we go, let's make this taller. It doesn't work as well. As you can see, it just sort of like zooms in rather than actually going taller. So you can't go proper, super tall, but you can do ultra wide, wide, perfectly fine. Now you press F1 and we get our enhancements. Now you're gonna wanna go into these enhancements because there's a lot of good things. I'm going to show you some quick little cheats. There's time savers that increase the speed of King Zora, tech speed, climbing up vines and stuff, pushing blocks. I recommend like putting these to about halfway. Seems pretty good. I think 2x speed's all you really need. There's difficulty options so you can like make yourself the game more difficult or easier for yourself. You can also set up various things. There is a randomizer here somewhere. But what's more important is so we can have full control over our mouse. We can set programs to everything we want. Right now, C buttons are set to right stick, which we don't really want. So we set these off to wherever you think it's more reasonable. And we can then set the right stick to be the right stick proper. And once we've done this, it will allow us to have proper right stick controls in the game once we have set it up properly. So after we do this, we head back over to here and we go back to ah, there are customized game controls. And here we can allow it to customize the ocarina controls. We can allow it to have the D-pad as well. We can also play with the camera stick. Now we can go to camera controls. And inside the camera controls, we have full right stick aiming for first person if we want. We can have free camera in third person or not. We can invert and uninvert stuff up to you completely. And we can also adjust camera distance away from the character. And we do this all real time. So let me get into the game proper. All right, so now that we're back out into the game, we can show that we can actually do a lot of this stuff in real time. So we want to change the camera distance. We just adjust the camera distance and bam. One free camera, and now free camera. Wanna go further out with this camera distance? You can do it. So you can get all your crazy cinematic pan shots that you want with Link in the center. All throughout this sort of game. And you go to camera distance, needs to be even closer. It needs to be right up on Link. You can do that too. Now you may notice that if I bring up my frame rate, Matrix again. We're at 40 FPS. Seems a little bit choppy, doesn't it? That's all right, we can fix that. Head back into enhancements. And so you don't like the frame rate. Well, you can adjust it right here. You can make it frame interpolation to be 25 frames per second. Still not smooth, still too laggy for you. We can adjust this up even more. Go up to 30 frames per second, which is 60 FPS. Still too smooth, still too jittery. You don't like it? Well, we can adjust this up even more. We can go up to 60. Oh, look at that. Is that too smooth or not smooth enough? Well, you can go to full kit and caboodle all the way up to 360. What about that? Is that too smooth now? Not smooth enough? You need your jitter back? Oh, well, there you go. And that's how you do your frame interpolation stuff. I reckon just leaving it around 60 is probably where you want it to be. I think that's just right. You can see a little bit of jitter on the trails of like straight objects. Now there are of course lovely cheats because everyone loves cheats, such as being able to climb everything. So I want to climb this, bam, climbable. 
I want to get up here without using the, the, what do you call it, the leaf thing? Bam, you're up here. I want to climb outside of the bounds? Bam, look at that. Look at what the deco tree looks like outside of bounds. Now we can go straight past the minnow. You can see below the ground. All these things you can do. You can no clip. You can hookshot everything. You can moon jump on left trigger. Lots of fun things. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you could like, subscribe, and if you have any problems, comment below or email me. It's all in the description. Uh, these guys have done fantastic work. Hopefully they can push further and allow extended modding by community modding, such as the RTX feature set, like they have in the Mario mod. And in future videos, I want to show how to install Doom RTX, so subscribe for that. Yeah, I'm going to let this play on for a little bit longer with some showcases of some of the cutscenes in widescreen, some of which you've already seen through Nintendo 64 modding, but because this is a source port of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it's going to be a lot more cleaner and have less slowdown and stuff like that because it can just natively do everything rather than having to go through a wrapper. Enjoy!
Thank you.